Today's tale begins, and I'd like to talk about the subject of shields. Doesn't sound like the most exciting subject, but in Battle Brothers, it's actually kind of important. So there's, there's actually four types of shields, but I'm not going to include the buckler because that thing's pretty garbage if you cannot get your hand on a wooden shield. So shields obviously add defense, right? So with a wooden shield, you're getting your melee defense plus 15, range defense 15. Wooden shield is a no-brainer, right? You just slap it on and you're good to go. It's actually when you get to the next level of shields that things get slightly different. So you got both the heater shield and the kite shield. So the kite shield is designed to fend off attacks, you know, that are ranged. So you're getting an extra ranged bonus there, but you're keeping the same melee defense as a wooden shield. And then the heater shield, it's sort of, you know, you get the, the melee defense there, plus 20, but you get the same amount of range defense. You've obviously got a slight difference in the fatigue as well. But it's, it's not so important. I mean, it's only two, so it's not a huge deal. So you can see here, most of my front line are actually equipped with quiet shields. Now the reason for this, that I, I ne normally leave them as a standard with kite shields, is because a lot of the enemies you fight are ranged. They're going to throw stuff at you or any of that. So... Brigand Raiders, Poachers, Marksmen, they're all going to shoot at you. They're going to shoot your front line. And that extra defense is quite critical. So I'll show you the difference. So here's with the Heater Shield versus the Kite Shield, right? He's gone from 21, and we'll slap on the old Kite Shield, up to 34. And he's only lost... He's only lost uh, too much there. What's that? Seven? He's only lost seven defense on... On his uh, melee. But the main importance here is to actually have both sets of shields. You'd think, oh yeah, I'm wasting my space. You know, I'm only ever going to use kite shields. It gives me the best bonus. Well, no. Because you're going to be facing undead, orcs, uh, weird rangers, <laughs> however you say it, uh, direwolves, all of those things. They're melee only, right? And you're like, well, I know what I'm fighting, so I'm going to go into battle with my hater shield. But any other time you're facing anything with ranged, I would seriously consider taking the kite shield. I used to be, I used to be like, oh yeah, I'm just going to rock, I'm just going to rock the hater shield into every single battle I go into. My guys are going to be on the front line, they're going to be fighting, they're not going to be taking arrows. Well, that's so wrong. Even brigands, right? So, brigands with a couple of poachers, they will force you to come to them. The front line of brigands will normally have thrown weapons. So they're all going to swap over to their thrown axes, their javelins, uh, whatever. They're going to start throwing stuff. The poachers or the marksmen, they're going to be shooting your front line. If they're not shooting your back line, they're definitely shooting your front line. Whatever's moved into range is just going to get junk thrown at them. And that extra that extra little bit of defense really starts to matter. Especially on your front line. So your front line, you're pumping skills like melee defense, right? And you're pushing that as high as you can go. And with the kite shield, it lets you do that. So with the kite shield, you don't have to worry so much about your range defense because the kite shield covers you. It covers you for... You know, an extra 10, 10 defense. It's pretty good. It is a stable. Now, when I come to my back line, this is where it gets slightly exciting, right? So my back line, you can actually put a kite shield into their secondary weapon. So my back line, I always give them a two-handed weapon and a shield. The reason for this is the two-handed weapon... Obviously, the axe is there to cut down any shields the enemy have. And sometimes you'll find you run out of arrows for whatever reason. Or you just really need to just bash things, right? So I carry the second, second two-handed weapon so that I can do that. But I also carry a kite shield. Now, what you can do is you can actually be kind of sneaky. 
And if you're moving forward or you're out of position, I have quick hands on all my on all my my ranged guys so that they can swap for a free action into the shield. So what you can do is you can shoot, equip your kite shield, move, and then the enemy's going to shoot at your your ranged guy while he's got a kite shield out, yeah? So, I mean, yeah, sure, I've got nothing in my weapon here, but I don't need to because I've already fired. I'm only moving. And next turn round, I'm going to get my free hands action again. I'm going to pull out my crossbow. I'm going to reload it. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to be in the position I want to be in. And I've just dodged whatever the hell the enemy side's firing at me. So obviously, I keep a range of these shields for losses. So, you know, like when your stuff gets chopped in half. But I also keep two sets. So I keep kite shields and I keep the heater shields. Just so that when I face up against orcs or undead or anything that's melee, I can have those ready. And every other situation, I go in with the kite shields. Goblins, god you need them with goblins. Goblins fire so much stuff at you. Brigands, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna be copping, you know, probably two rounds of shooting and anything you can squeeze through with is such an advantage. Such an advantage. And that's it. That's it for shields, really. I mean, <laughs> they're boring as, but it needs to be said, you, you need to carry both sets, you need to have spares, and if you're really crazy, you can do this. You can go into combat like this, and you can swap out your shields. So I've seen people, I don't do this because it's, it's a real drain on your stamina. I mean, this guy's losing, you know, he's losing a good portion of his, his fatigue here to jam this on. But I've seen people suggest this. And if you are afraid of your shields getting cut in half, say you're facing a bunch of orc warriors, and you don't want someone standing there with no shield, you can actually bring another shield with you into the battle, so that you can swap in that shield from your backpack, or from your, whatever they're called, your bags, and you can have a round two of shields, right? It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty cool. Uh, do I suggest it? It's up to you. I don't do it uh, because I tend to like to have my fatigue. I find I don't lose too many shields after I've got the shield expert since it does reduce damage to your shields down a bit. But it is there because those situations where your shield's gone and there's orc warriors on you, my god, do you wish you had a shield in your backpack. And that's it for... Tips and tricks for shields. Tune in next time for more tips and tricks on Battle Brothers. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.